Hi, my name is Steve Harrison and here at Hastings College I'm a lecturer in Geography. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about Geography as a subject, as an A-level subject here in the College. Geography is one of those subjects that encompasses a wide range of skills. You're going to split really the course into two. You're going to do elements of physical geography and elements of human geography. And so I'll break those down and talk about each of those separately. In physical geography, we choose to do tectonics, we do coastal geography, um, and then we move on to do the water cycle and the carbon cycle. So that, that's really our physical. You'll be familiar with those from GCSE. And then we go into human geography and we talk about regeneration and we've got ideal situation here with Hastings undergoing regeneration. We talk about human side of geography, so we talk about human rights um, and interventions, military interventions, human, human aid interventions in far off places and all those human aspects. We'll, we'll look at all sorts of statistics. So it's not only um, a written subject, you've got to be able to analyze statistics and data as well. And then finally, you get to do a piece of your own work for geography, and that makes the subject quite unique. You have 20% of your final marks are all based on your own non-examined assessment. So I get to mark it, but you have to do an assignment, essentially you choose a piece of field work where you go out there, you go into the field, you do your own research and then you pull all that research together, present it statistically and then you analyse it and you analyse the data that you've drawn from it and draw conclusions. And that should only be about 4,000 words. So it it might sound a lot now, it's not really that many and probably what you'll find is the harder job is cutting down to 4,000 words. So that's what we have to do in the course. On top of that, there is a course requirement that we go out and do field work. So we have to do at least four days out in the field. So we would typically go and do a day's study on the beach and we'll look at coastal uh, geography, we might go and look at a river basin, so we might travel out to Lewis and look at the river basin out in Lewis. Then we'll travel into our local town, so we'll go into Hastings and do some work, and then we might go into uh, another town, a contrasting town, and that might be going into the city and going into London or even Portsmouth that we've done in the past to look at that as a contrasting city. Okay, lots of our geography students, after they've finished the course, will go on to study geography-related courses. It tends to be a subject that students are interested in and they will go and study geography itself or in its purest form, but then you get the choice as to whether to study physical or human geography, depending on where your interests lie or they go in to study the environmental sciences, or a lot of students have studied science alongside geography, so they might even go into geology or studying a pure science. Um, typically, those are the routes forward. Absolutely. If you've not done geography before at GCSE, that doesn't stop you doing the course at all. We welcome you in. In fact, every year, a number of students uh, quite a large proportion of students, maybe 20-30% of students, have never studied geography before, either because it's not been available at their school or it didn't fit in with one of the blocks or they now decide that suddenly it's a really interesting subject. You won't necessarily be in college every day, you'll get three geography lessons per week as you will with your other subjects. So you're going to get nine contact lessons and those will be spread over the five days. So it may be that you're in every day. You may not have to come in um, on a day that you don't have lessons. Why should students come to Hastings College? We have a fantastic record of results. We have fantastic achievement in recent years on coursework. And in fact, our last two years, all of our students have achieved higher grades, uh, grades B and better in their coursework and 
nobody has underachieved from their forecasted grades and we have students achieving A stars uh, down to D's uh, but we haven't gone any lower than a D in recent times. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in uh, next year's programme, so next September. And good luck for your GCSEs. Work hard, get the grades you need, and welcome to the course for next September.